Expand your vocabulary with our core 2,000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free English ebook before it's gone. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Top Words. My name is Alicia, and today we're going to talk about 10 phrasal verbs with run. If you've watched our live streams recently, you might have caught the episode where we talked about some of these phrasal verbs. You can watch that again for your homework or for after work or for review as well. But let's go. We're going to do a Top Words episode about it now. Run out of. The first phrasal verb is run out of, run out of. Run out of something means to sell out of something, to run out of a product, to run out of an item, to run out of a food in a restaurant, to run out of ideas, for example, sentences for run out of. Okay, so um, this is something, it, the, the nuance is sell out, to be finished, to have nothing left of something, to run out of blah, blah, blah. So in a sentence, we ran out of products at the festival. Yes, please be careful. The past tense of run is ran. So when you want to use past tense of this phrasal verb, we ran out. I ran out of blah, blah, blah. Okay. Run a business. The next phrasal verb with run is run a business. Run a business means like manage a business, uh, often operate a business, own a business. You are the person in charge or the person running the business is the person in charge, the person responsible for that business. So in a sentence, my dream is to run a haircutting business. Run into. The next phrasal verb is run into, run into. So we can use run into uh, to mean crash, like I ran into, again, past tense, I ran into a wall on my way into the studio today, which is not true. I ran into something. Uh, or we can use run into to mean encounter someone by surprise. So for example, I ran into my coworker at the beach yesterday, or I ran into my neighbor when I was shopping. I ran into my mom on the airplane, for example. Okay, so these are all surprise encounters. When you encounter someone and you were not expecting to encounter them, you can use run into, past tense ran into. In a sentence, I ran into my friend at the mall. Run by. The next expression is run by, run by. So run by means make a quick stop somewhere. Run by the post office, run by the bank, run by the school, run by my house, run by your house after work, run by my favorite ice cream shop for a treat after work. For example, these are all quick stops somewhere, a very short stop for a short period of time, and then you're going to do something else. This is the nuance of run by a location. In a sentence, I want to run by the post office before work. Run away. The next expression is run away. Run away means escape or quickly leave somewhere. So there's uh, the nuance perhaps of something dangerous happening. You need to leave quickly. So like run away from a bear, run away from a snake, run away from a strange person, run away from your fears. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Run away from bad things. Anyway, it's it's kind of the running away from something negative. Or, or I think during the live stream, some people said like run away from my girlfriend or run away, run away from my like my wife's dog or something like that. So there's a, there's a nuance of escaping something here. In a sentence, run away from anyone suspicious. Run around. The next expression is run around. Run around means to go to many places, usually in a short period of time. Uh, so, of course, we can say like run around as in I like to run around my neighborhood when I go jogging, literally running around an area. But if you're going to many places in a short period of time, like one afternoon, you have many places to go or in one day or maybe in one week, just a lot of meetings, for example, you can say, I have to run around to a lot of places this afternoon or I'm running around to a lot of different meetings this afternoon, for example. In a different sentence, he's running around the city this afternoon. He has a lot of appointments. Run off with. The next expression is run off with, run off with something. Sounds like 
uh, something was stolen, something was taken uh, that was not supposed to be. So it's not always stealing. Sometimes it's by accident, like in a, in a situation like my my roommate ran off with my phone this morning. So maybe it was an accident. Like maybe my phone was in my roommate's bag and my roommate left with my phone. So to run off with means to, to leave, to go away, uh, holding something or with something that may or may not have been stolen. So there's no intention uh, of the owner. The owner maybe is missing that item. The owner wants that item but does not have it. So, in a sentence, the thief ran off with my wallet. Run up. Next expression is run up. Run up means to create a large total or to make a list of items, usually on a bill. Uh, so we use this a lot at restaurants or maybe in service situations, maybe hotels or maybe a, even a department store, for example. Like we usually use it in an expression like to run up a large bill at the bar or to run up a large uh, sales ticket, something like that. Usually we use bill, to run up a large bill. It means to uh, make a long list, to run up, uh, like imagine maybe a receipt if you can, to run up a long list of items on a bill. So in a sentence, we ran up a huge bill at the bar last night run a fever. The next word is run a fever. Run a fever. Run a fever means to have a high body temperature. This is a set phrase, to run a fever. Means, yeah, your body temperature is higher than normal. You have a fever. So we can say, uh, I have a fever, or um, I'm too, you, we, we don't say I'm too hot. That sounds strange. Say, I have a fever, or uh, I'm running a fever. Those two are the most common ways to talk about your body temperature. In a sentence, I can't go to work. I'm running a fever. Run on. The next expression is run on plus something. So oftentimes this, this, this expression, run on a fuel of some kind, like some kind of energy giving substance. So for people, like we were just discussing uh, coffee. So some people say, I run on coffee. My fuel is coffee. Or maybe I run on energy drinks. Um, we can use this expression for cars. Like my car runs on gasoline. My car runs on solar power. Uh, we use this to talk about how something gets its energy. So I could say, I run on coffee in the mornings. That's not true, but it's usually, it sounds like that thing uh, is essential to making the uh, energy happen. You must have that thing. Uh, or there only is, or only that thing is available. The nuance of like, I run on coffee, it sounds like if I don't have that thing, I'll die. So it sounds kind of um, serious, like this, this uh, energy giving thing is necessary for, um, for you or for your machine to run, <laughs> to run, uh, to work, to function. Okay, so in a sentence, I didn't sleep at all last night. I'm running on coffee today. That's the end. So those are 10 phrasal verbs with run. I hope that that was useful for you. If you like, if you want a little bit more practice or maybe to hear some slightly different explanations, be sure to check out the live stream that we did about this topic recently too. Uh, thanks very much for watching this episode of Top Words. If you liked this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel as well. Also check us out at EnglishClass101.com for more good stuff. Thanks for watching this episode of Top Words, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!